Well, hello, hello, hello again, everyone. Um, this is Laura coming to you with another video. And today's video is going to be entitled, What is it that you want from me? What is it that the gang stalkers want from you? And have you ever screamed in frustration? You know, just what is it that you guys want from me? You know, why am I on your radar as a possible or potential target? Why me? Does this sound familiar? Have you guys ever asked yourself that? Why me? What is it that you want from me? Why are you targeting me? And you probably thought to yourself, you know, I don't have, you know, anything that is significant or anything that's special. Um, whatever it is that you want or desire that I have, you can have it too. Just go get it. And this here is the mistake that many of us have made because we're always thinking that it's something tangible that they want. And I'm here to kind of change your way of looking at things, give you a different perspective as far as what it is they really want from you. And it's not the tangible things. It's not the house or the car. It's never been about the job or the money. It's never even really been about your family or many of the things that we think they're going after. My friend, it's never been about that. Do you know the number one thing that they're after? They're after your heart. They're after your heart of gold. And what is it that makes you a person that has a heart of gold? Well, it's your goodness. It's your goodness towards mankind. It's your belief of the goodness in mankind. And get this, it's your ability to give and receive love, to really love with all your heart. And I know that a lot of you out there, you know, you really love with all your heart. Another thing that they're after, you know, that they really take a look at you and put you under the microscope is your ability to look at the positives in life. You know, you're a person that's very introspective. You're a deep thinker. You're able to self-reflect. And that's something that they don't have the ability to do. And get this, you desire to do good. A lot of us that are targeted individuals, we desire to do good towards everyone. We don't harbor any malice in our hearts towards anyone. We're very caring people, trusting and trustworthy. And we can feel the emotions of others. We can feel the pain of others, which means we possess that quality of being able to empathize. We have empathy. And that's something that's lacking in a gang stalker. Secondly, we're faithful and we're steady. We're willing to forgive and to give chances. We accept people at face value. And we reserve judgment. And we're fair to all people. You know, and it doesn't matter whether you're reserved, whether you're strong and outgoing, or whether you're quiet and timid. They're upset with you because you're okay with being that way, and they're not. My friend, to sum this all up, they're after your virtues because they lack virtues. And so you may be asking the questions, well, what virtues do I have that they may want? Remember, virtues are 
good moral fortitude. Virtues are something that cannot be bought, sold, or traded. It's something that lies deep within a person. And so what are those virtues? What are some of those virtues that they lack and they see it in you? Well, get this. How many of you consider yourself brave? And I know by interacting with some of you on my channel, there's a lot of brave souls out there. And to endure what you've been through, you possess the virtue of braveness. Some of you, or most of you, are very temperament, uh, generous, truthful, witty, and friendly. You may say, well, I've never thought of myself as witty, you know. Uh, some of you may be very spirited and passionate about something, and you're able to express your passions you know, if someone is able to push the right buttons, those hot button topics, it's easily to see that you're very passionate about certain issues in life. And they don't like that because they're not able to experience genuine passion for anything. They may seem passion. They may pretend to be passionate. And then when something else comes along, well, that passion is put on the shelf. But a person with genuine passion, they're going to be passionate about this issue today, tomorrow, 10 years from now, 50 years from now. They're still going to hold the same passion. How many of you guys out there are conscientious and mindful? You know, that, again, that's connected to the ability to be introspective and to self-reflect and be a deep thinker and to look at things you know, from a positive point of view, and to also take an account, you know, and take a look at yourself and what needs to be changed. You know, my friend, if you're able to do that, you are a very blessed person because so many people lack that virtue. Well, how many of you are industrious, which means hardworking, you know, how many of you get up and report to work every day and you work hard to make the things happen in your life? You work hard to achieve your goals. You work hard to have the things that you've accomplished in life. You know, how many of you are benevolent, which means that, you know, you desire not to do any harm, which again ties into wanting to do good towards mankind and believe in the goodness of mankind. Get this. Some of us are indignant, and I can see that sometimes in the comment. And guess what? Indignant is righteous anger. It's not just being angry and quarrelsome and uh, difficult over anything. Indignant is a righteous anger. For example, having righteous anger over the social injustices of the world, that is considered indignant you have a right to be angry when you see the social justices or someone being mistreated or someone being done wrong in the world. And so these are a list of all of the virtues. You know, if you think about the opposite of each one, you know, this is something that they're lacking. And instead of having these, these virtues that cannot be bought, sold, or traded, they have the opposite of that. And they're not satisfied with being that way, but they haven't taken the time to self-reflect in order to change that about themselves or to learn to do better. You know, Oprah Winfrey had a saying that when we know better, we do better. And so I'm going to wrap the video up uh, at this point. If you enjoy the content of my YouTube channel, you know, please take the time to like, subscribe, Make a comment, and then please share these videos. And I thank you so much. And my friends, stay strong. And as always, until we meet again, bye-bye, my friends.